As you're laying on the table, you're wondering how you got to the point where holes drilled in your head sounds like a good idea. You're just there going, I wonder if this is gonna work. Once we were prepared and had the first electrode in and we're ready to stimulate, you know, the instructions were really, we're just going to start and your job is just to report if you notice anything happening. They started low, nothing. They turned up the electrical impulses on the electrode's first contact to a moderate maximum. Still, nothing happened. We went to the next contact and we turned it on again, didn't get anything. One possibility could be we weren't using the right kind of settings, but we decided we're just gonna go in order. We get to the third one, we start to turn it on, we're at low current, we don't get anything, we get to up about five volts and the patient goes, boy, that's interesting. At some point, they hit a spot and Dr. Mayberg noticed and I noticed and she has me describe it Have any mental qualities to it, or is it still mostly physical? Actually, that time it kind of was, there was a lighterness of my mood that went with the lighterness of my feelings. The transformation was dramatic. A sudden remission from despair in a person who has spent years in a nearly vegetative depression. Happiness felt like a possibility again. The success of DBS immensely increased our understanding of the brain's biology. The maps created are the lasting legacy of this work, maps refined with ever more detail thanks to help from one of Mayberg's colleagues. Helen Mayberg and I are great friends. We've been talking about this sort of thing for a long time. And it's very clear that ideas from optogenetics already have potential to help guide things like placement of electrodes. In some ways, whether it works or doesn't work, what's really important is what it teaches us about the wiring that's essential for the regulation of mood. There's Three years later, Brandy remains free of depression. Under my scalp, the electrodes are still in and the wires go down into my frontal lobe and they run down into a connection on the side of my scalp. That has wires that run down my neck to a battery pack that I have implanted under my chest wall. 